The realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, and a Song of Ice and Fire update video. Alright folks, in this new video, we will look at another update from our old friend George R. R. Martin over on his Not A Blog website. Now, in this new video, George R. R. Martin sets the record straight in regards to his last Not A Blog update. He also mentioned something at the very end that did get me very excited. Let's go over to his website now so I can show you what was said. He said, too much to do, too much to do. Things are hopping, as my frogs told you down below. Now, I could be writing long updates here about a dozen things, but I am sure most of you would sooner I were writing fiction, films, and television shows, as well as editing anthologies. But let me say a few words about matters various and sundry. We have a new book coming out in October, The Rise of the Dragon, an illustrated history of the Targaryen dynasty from Aegon the Conqueror to the regency of the boy king Aegon the Third of his name. I could show you the covers, British and American, but my mighty minions have already done that down below, in his last update. All you gotta do is scroll down and enjoy. The official announcements lays out the basic facts about the book as well, so I won't go over that again here. I just want to clear up some areas of confusion. In my blog update from March 9th, scroll down further, I made mention of a lavish coffee table book that is coming out later this year. An illustrated condensed version of Fire and Blood, done with Elio Garcia and Linda, who also helped him with the World of Ice and Fire. Yes, I was speaking of Rise of the Dragon, the same book. There has been some mention of Rise being an encyclopedia, but I do not think that is accurate. Not unless the definition of encyclopedia has brought in considerably. It's a history, covering the same years and events as Fire and Blood but not written in world by Archmaester Gildane, and much condensed from Gildane's original text. My friends Ilio Garcia and Linda of World of Ice and Fire fame handled the abridgment. Alright, now let me stop right here for a second so I can say something about what he just said, because I think this does have some significance. There are a lot of fans who have been worried that George R. R. Martin is now too busy to be writing The Winds of Winter, because he's now working on all these other things. I, for one, was someone who was also worried about that. If you saw his last Nautablog update, he mentions how he did not get that much writing done on The Winds of Winter last year, while also mentioning how he has all of these other novels releasing either later this year or sometime next year. Well, I think this new update is to show that he's not actually working on those other books as much as we might think. Like he said right here, Ilio and Linda are the ones who are handling the abridgment. Not only that, but one of the main reasons they are releasing this is because of all the new artwork that is included. Which, as we all know, George R. R. Martin has nothing to do with creating that artwork. So, although he does have a new history book releasing later this year, it doesn't sound like he had to spend too much of his own time actually working on it himself. Now let's see what else he said. We needed a shorter book to make room for all the artwork. That's the thing about Rise of the Dragon. It's not an encyclopedia. It's an art book. And a gorgeous one, I think. Rise of the Dragon will include 180 brand new illustrations from some of the finest fantasy artists in the world. Many will be in gorgeous living and dying colors. Dragons, knights, battles, lords and ladies, castles, and all the good stuff. So if you're a fan of fantasy art, you might want to pre-order your copy now. So as you can see, it doesn't sound like he did that much work on it himself at all. The other book that is mentioned in the update on March 9th, The Who's Who of Westeros, is coming as well, but not this fall. That one is way off. Might be a year or two. Lot of work to be done. It's hard to do a who's who when I keep inventing characters. There will be a second book coming out this year, to tie in with the debut of House of the Dragon. But it won't be a new book either, just an old one with a new cover. That's Fire and Blood, of course, the original, unabridged version by Archmaester Gildane, with new cover art from the HBO series. When I have seen the new cover, I will be sure to share it here with you. So, once again, he is releasing another book, but it's not one that he actually had to work on himself. None of this really sounds like it's taken away any of his time from writing The Winds of Winter. Well, maybe not as much as we think. He also says, many of you reading this are fantasy fans, I know. Waiting for The Winds of Winter, I know, I know but looking forward to the new television shows as well. The new Lord of the Rings will be out September 2nd, and House of the Dragon on, well, you will know soon. 
It's only March though. Now, what should you watch in the meanwhile? I recommend The Last Kingdom, based on Bernard Cornwell's Saxton Tales. The new season just went up, and my wife and I gulped it down in a few days. No, it is not fantasy. There is a notable lack of dragons and magic, but there are lots of battles and betrayals and sword fights and all that stuff. And Utrid is a warrior who could give the best of Westeros and Middle-earth a fight. A good show, and we will miss it. But we have a feature film to look forward to at least, and Cornwell has a new sharp book out too. There's more, but I have other stuff to do, so I will sign off for now. The horns are blowing, the frogs are hopping. Alright, now maybe I'm getting all excited for nothing, but did any of you notice what he said right there at the very end? Let me read it again. He said there's more, but I have other stuff to do, so I will sign off for now. The horns are blowing. Now, I don't know about all of you, but that sounds like he is referring to the horns blowing at the wall. And dare I say they might be blowing because the White Walkers are finally riding down on the winds of winter to extinguish life as we know it. I don't know why, but that line got me very excited thinking George might be in the middle of writing those scenes when the White Walkers are finally at the wall, fighting some of our beloved characters. Now, I know, I know, it seems like we will never see the Winds of Winter, but I still want to hold out hope against all odds. Like I said, I don't think he is working on all of these other projects as much as we think. It honestly just sounds like he's having Elio and Linda remix his old material. That way they can release some new novels that has new artwork. I doubt he is doing much of any writing on those novels. But maybe I'm just being too optimistic. I guess we shall see. Anyways, let me know what all of you think down below. I am interested in hearing your thoughts. As always, I want to thank everyone for stopping by and watching my video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.